Hey everyone, before we get started with this video, I want you to go down to the description down below and download my free guide, a very quick guide about how you can uh, figure out your solar energy needs, alternative energy needs, and now let's dive into this video. Is this good? Are we rocking in here? All right. Hello everyone, Morgan here, and I'm going to talk about some of my favorite solar generators here. So I have, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I count good, okay? There's also one missing here. I have a total of six. It is this one. Uh, it is in the Jeep right now. My husband has it with our children and I did not want to wait to do this video. So we're just gonna pretend that this is here. There we go. Brunk, picture. Jeez. Let's get started. So first we have the uh, four Patriots. All right, first we have the four Patriots solar generator. This one I have done an official review of, and I really like it, you know. What I really like about it is the size, of course. It is 300 watts, which is not the most powerful, but it's not the least powerful either. You can charge a lot of stuff with this. So let's go ahead and power it on. So this is gonna be an important fact here um, for later on, but we moved all of these solar generators from Texas to Alaska in a trailer. You know, we wrapped them up really nice so we made sure they were well taken care of. We moved them. Now, batteries technically should not be in extreme cold weather. It really shouldn't be in extreme hot weather either, as long as they are kept in okay conditions. You know, um, zero degrees is probably the lowest I would go with cold and um, out of direct sunlight at all times. Even when you're charging it, I would put it in the shade, do the solar panels in front of it to shade it, stuff like that, so it's not sitting there in direct sunlight. That could be extremely damaging to uh, the equipment, the battery, things like that. So you do wanna keep it out of direct sunlight and try to keep it out of those extreme uh, negative temps. If it's in there for like a short time, that's fine. But the negative temps specifically and hot weather, but the negative temp specifically could actually drain the battery and damage it at the same time. But, um, you know, we knew we were only gonna be going through Canada for a very short period of time, but it was about negative 20 degrees consistently going through Canada and they were in the trailer. There wasn't much we could do about it, but we did get through in a few days. So it's not like they were there for an extended period of time. However, what I loved about every single one of these, including uh, this yellow one, the batteries weren't depleted. They were perfectly fine. But I decided to charge them up anyway, made, made sure they were at 100 top percent, plugged them into a wall, and just made sure they were plugged, uh, you know, plugged in and ready to go. You can just have them plugged into the wall 24 seven and it will not damage the battery. They have a safety feature in there, which will, you're not overcharging the battery is what I mean. So you can keep it plugged in all the time. So when a disaster happens, lights go out, that kind of thing, right? The, these can be used immediately because they've stayed on the charger, they've lost no charge from just sitting around, right? And they're at 100% tip top shape. Uh, and of course, these can all use solar panels. Not all solar generators will come with solar panels because though you can charge it with solar, a lot of them are banking on you simply um, charging it through the wall socket. But again, these can all take solar panels. Some of them will require, you know, or, or, or could only take a certain wattage of solar panel. Uh, you know, this is 100 watts. That's probably the max amount of solar panels they're going to take. The larger ones like this 2000 um, watt one can take um, a lot more solar panels together, right? Maybe two or 300 solar panels, 400 solar, 400 watt solar panels um, strung together, that kind of thing in order to charge this. But some of them do have limitations like this 100 watt solar panels, probably the max on this um, that you'd, you'd want to use 50 to 100. Okay, so let's go ahead and power this one on. Okay, so I charged this six months ago when we first got here. This is at 94% now. So that's really good. That's a good amount of battery loss that I would expect to see over not being charged for six months. And if I pulled this out and needing it today, at having 94% battery life, I'd be pretty good. But with all solar generators, anything with a battery really, you wanna keep it charged pretty consistently. My recommendation though, is to actually use the battery first, plug something into it, plug your phone into it for a few days, deplete it, then charge it up. 
So this is the Jackery. I do have a Jackery. This is the 500 watts. So I want you to kind of see the difference between the 500 watts and the 300 watts, the differences between, you know, what they can do and the size of the battery, that kind of thing. Um, they've really come a long way with a lot of this stuff, though, I will say. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and turn this on. So this says 99% battery life. That's super impressive. Again, I haven't charged any of these for the past six months, so we're just turning them on now together. We're doing this together. Aww. I'm so glad you're here with me. <laughs> Enjoying this experience. Um, so yeah, this will show you the display of, you know, how much wattage is coming in and out. That's the same that this one does as well. I like Jackery, um, you know, just because, you know, it's a good brand name. Uh, it charges really good. Uh, with this one, you can also, you know, this one has a light. Oops, this one has a light on the side. Oh, I just blinded myself. It's, I'm not super impressed with the press and hold on that, but this has a really bright light. I really seriously just blinded myself. It's like looking down the barrel of a gun, stupid Morgan, stupid. Anyway, I think that's my only downside of this one. I just have to press and keep press for such a long period of time. Whereas with this one, it's just like, there's the display, there's the light, you know, just press it and it's on, right? <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna move these to the side. I do really like these. I like them both for different reasons. Whoa, now this big beast, this one is, I think, 1100 watts. Yeah, it's 1100 watts. I'm trying to find the, oh, there it is. Big, big power button, big yellow bus. Okay. All right, so this is still at 100%. Okay, so this one I just love. I did a whole review of this before where I was using like my coffee maker and I was making toast in my toaster and this thing was running like a freaking champ. And as you can see, the power uh, battery still says 100%. Super impressive. Again, haven't charged it for six months. I have to keep repeating that because I feel like it's a really important part. You know, lithium batteries are fantastic. And when you keep them in, in nice conditions and um, you know, not in extreme temps one way or the other, they will last and they will, you know, they'll be good. This was the one I had to charge after we came back from the negative temps. Now, this was the one in which the battery was completely depleted. I couldn't turn it on at all from those negative temps. And I hadn't really charged it when I was at, at the Texas house either, but I left it at 100% charged from the Texas house. Okay, I do remember that very specifically. Now let's go ahead and try to turn it on. Is the battery. So six months of not being charged, and this is um, completely depleted of battery. I haven't used it. I completely charged it up when we got back. I just thought, oh, maybe, you know, it's just the negative temps depleted it, which seemed normal. I thought all of them were gonna be depleted, but this is the only one that was depleted. And as you can see now, even after six months of being in the same conditions as these others, it's depleted. And I'm pretty disappointed by that. Uh, I gotta say, I kind of like this one because it was like a thousand watts and I really wanted to rely on it, but honestly, I'm gonna have to figure out something. I'm gonna have to open this up or do something. Um, I'm gonna have to contact the manufacturer, figure out what can be done, but this is pretty unacceptable to me that, um, that this would already be dead after just six months of not even using it and not even being in extreme temps one way or the other. Uh, so yeah, pretty disappointed by that. I oh, sure do get a good workout with these though. All right, this is my big buddy here. <laughs> uh, this one is 2000 watts. This is the largest wattage one that I have. I'm just so impressed with this because it comes in such a small package for being 2000 watts. And you have to keep in mind that when we were living off grid uh, in the desert and in Alaska, we had 1700 watts. And it was a much larger system than what is compacted down into this. So to be able to have 2000 watts of power compacted down into this little thing. Now it's heavy, of course, don't get me wrong, but come back, compacted down into this. It's just like, it's amazing. It is spectacular to have this much energy. I mean, you could power 
your freezer, you can power your fridge, you can power like your, almost your whole house. <laughs> just not your air conditioning, but okay. Uh, let's go ahead and power this on. Okay, so this one, I did a review of once and I said that I was disappointed that the display didn't actually say a percentage. All of these say a percentage of what the battery is. Now this does say it's full. You know, like no battery bars are missing or anything, but that could be like 99%, is it 98? I like to know exact numbers like that, especially when it comes to my battery power. Now, I do have a meter in which I can plug into here and it'll tell me the water in, water doubt, that kind of thing. And so I can kind of understand what's coming in, what's going out as far as that is concerned. But it's, um, it's just disappointing to me that the display was so lacking on this one. That's my only downside on this. Otherwise, this works like a freaking champ. It is a champ. You could even use this as a self-defense item. Okay. It's <laughs> if you could pick it up. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna break my freaking back doing that. And then this one over here, we actually just used recently. My husband um, charged his uh, drone when we were on the way to berry pick something. We were on a way to do something. And anyway, and he wanted his drone. Oh no, we were going for a hike. Okay. Yes, I know you were dying for the specifics of that. Where were they going? What were they using the drone for? <laughs> um, okay. But yeah, so he just used it for that. It fit in the back of our vehicle. And I just, I love that one so much. That was actually one of my very first, um, generators. And I did a full review of that on my channel, uh, back in the day, over a year and a half ago at this point. You know, that is a smaller wattage, about 300 watts. The thing is, I like them all. I like them all for different reasons. I like them all for different applications. I like them all for, you know, if I'm going to be charging small stuff, I'm going to use this or my yellow one. If I'm going to be um, wanting to power some larger stuff, I'm going to bring this one out, right? There we go. Perfect. This, these are my top and then the yellow one here. Boom. Okay. So these are all my favorites. And as far as the comparison goes, they are both, they all perform pretty dang well, especially considering how they performed getting up here on the trailer in negative 20 degrees for, you know, I would say a three or four days, about three days. Let's say that it, um, it was negative 20 degrees when we got here to Alaska too, but we got all that stuff out, um, pretty fast, even in negative 20 degree weather. But, um, anyway, you know, I mean, these are performing really well. These will charge with solar, every single one of them. You can charge it via a car. You can charge it via a phone. Uh, it's not a phone. You can a phone. Yes, I'm going to use my phone to charge this. Uh, you can charge it via a wall outlet is what I meant to say. So wall outlet, car, solar, and a lot of these you can actually charge via another generator. Like if you, if you have a diesel generator or a gas or propane generator and you want to charge these up so you can have these, let's say like at night, you know, where you want some quiet or something like that, then you could have these, right? And that's the great thing too, because having multiple, I can use this one, you know, like at night and then I can charge it during the day while I use something else. Right. Um, and just depending on what you want to charge, I have, or power, I have videos where that it talks about this and I'd like to go into more detail just in general, but as far as, um, you know, finding a generator, these are my favorite. I'm going to put them down below in the description. All five of my favorites, including the one over here in the picture. Um, and then I'm also going to just include a little guide that I put together to explain how to choose a generator um, that's best for you and your energy needs and how to decide what energy you're going to actually be, you know, needing to, uh, to use. This is a free guide. Definitely look for reviews. Okay. Look at YouTube reviews. That's why I do YouTube reviews of these. Look for, you know, user reviews, these kinds of things, and, you know, be real about your energy needs, when you would need it, why you would want it, and then how you would be keeping these things charged. You know, like in a disaster, would you be throwing this out, you know, into to charge with the sun? You know, how long would this be able to last you with what you want to charge, that kind of thing. Again, that free guide is down below in the description, and uh, I hope that that helps you out. But solar generators are great. Have more than one. Highly recommend having more than one. Even these little ones come in handy for, for lots of things. You could do it on vacations, um, just, you know, in the car. Um, you could 
you know, whatever. <laughs> I mean, throw it in your back, right? Throw it in the uh, bug out bag. Why it's perfect. Uh, <laughs> thank you all so much for watching. I hope you really liked it. Again, get that free guide down below in the description. Thank you all so much for watching. Conquer tomorrow by preparing today. Talk to you later. Bye.